So we're here in the collections room at the National Museum of Civil War Medicine taking a look at some of the artifacts that we have. These are some of the coolest things that we have uh, in our collection at the, at the museum. If you take a look in here, we have lots of different uh, drugs, lots of different bottles of different substances. There are some prescriptions here uh, for medications that were given during the Civil War. But probably the coolest thing that we have right here is this apothecary kit. Now, apothecary kit, and you can see the different pieces of it here, this is what they would have had available, the doctors would have had available to them, um, some of the different medications that they would carry along with them. We also have some scales here, because this is a science at the time. They're actually me measuring out the different substances and making sure that they have the right amount. And they know the right amount because they have books like this, which they would have been writing in, and you can see that they have different, uh, different letters and uh, different things in there that they need exact amounts. And then, but most importantly, you have to look at the actual drugs themselves. I have two examples here for you. One of them is the best thing for an injured Civil War soldier, and that's going to be laudanum. And they have this mixture of alcohol and opium available to them throughout the Civil War. This is used quite liberally. You can see it's empty and it's one of the biggest bottles in this container. So that's a great aspect of Civil War medicine. They have the ability to, to numb some of the pain that these soldiers are going to experience. But then on the other hand, they also have something like this. Um, this is calomel, which is mostly mercury. So during the Civil War, this is an age before we have uh, scientific medicine as we know today, about germ theory. So they have an idea about medicine that is very related to the heroic era, where they believe that you need to purge the body of sickness and disease. And so what they would do is they would give these in pill form, and you would ingest the mercury, and it would make you really sick. They understood it was a poison. Uh, and you would get sick, you would throw up, you would have diarrhea, and their hope was that it would flush your system out of the illness. Of course, it ended up killing more patients than it did assisting. Uh, but overall, the apothecary kit and what we see in here, this is cutting edge science and this is driving medicine forward during the American Civil War.